Find the surface area and volume of this 3D object. First calculate the area of the sides. The area of a rectangle is length times width. The dimensions of a side are 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. This gives a surface area of 400 square millimeters. Now find the area of the top and bottom. The area of a rectangle is length times width. The dimensions are 60 millimeters by 20 millimeters. The surface area is 1200 square millimeters. Now find the area of the front and back. The area of a rectangle is length times width. We have two circular holes, so subtract their areas from the full rectangle area. Plug in the length and width of the rectangle and the radius of the circle. The surface area is 1042.92 square millimeters. Finally, find the surface area inside the cylindrical holes. The formula for the lateral area of a cylinder is A equals 2 pi RH. Plug in the radius and height of the cylinder. The diameter of the hole is 10 millimeters, so the radius is half that value, 5 millimeters. The height of the cylinder is the same as the depth of the block, 20 millimeters. The surface area is 628.32 square millimeters. Now add up all of the areas. This gives us a surface area of approximately 6,542 square millimeters for the composite object. In part B, we'll calculate the volume. We need to do two things to find the volume of this object. First calculate the volume of the rectangular prism, then subtract out the volumes of the two cylindrical holes. The formula is volume equals volume of the rectangular prism minus two times the volume of a cylindrical hole. The volume of the rectangular prism is length times width times height, and the volume of the cylindrical hole is pi r squared h. Plug in the values from the diagram. The volume is approximately 20,858 cubic millimeters.